<laughs> well, well, well. Hello and welcome back to another new stream. The success in your house. I hope that we are properly back to a new game. Okay, we are a bit louder than the game, but that's fine ish. Little adjustment. Right, yeah, here we are with Project Nimbus. I already set it up so that it should be working all fine and well. Yeah, since Everspace 2 finished and... Well, I had Project Nimbus on the list anyways. I figured it would be a good time to get into it. And one of those fast-paced mecha games? Uh, I played that once already in its earlier stages. Oh god, a ton of uh, work done to it. And yeah. Why not get through the campaign? Best tutorial, yes please. Hmm. Experience pilots. Okay, so this is us. I know. Okay. Okay, there's a boost meter. Good news and bad news here. Which one do you want first? Bad one first. I like stories with a happy ending. We've got a new pilot from Top Gun, call sign Skull One. He'll be with us and we'll start his sortie today. And the good news, General? It seems that the terrorist group called Children of Fallen Nations has acquired a lot of serious hardware. Oh no. S20 Shilka, MI19 Strelke, Drone S14. Uh, something that means shrimp? These are all flying relics. For them, this is very good stuff. Even better, they chose our backyard to show off their new toys. Oh, really? Right here, Taipei 3 Colony, near the border. Just a little bit to the west is UCN territory. The troops stationed there only have old M1s. We also have Delta operators as a ground asset. Call sign Bravo 1. Okay, boss, we know what to do. Skull 1, welcome to the 7th Fleet. I'm General George Reynolds, call sign AWAC Dragon's Eye. Now, Hello there, Dragon's Eye. The party is over. Now get your ass to work. Any questions? Nope. What's for dinner tonight? You're probably all wondering why we've been assigned to the defense of the Taipei 3 colony. 
Well, I've got a short history lesson for you. Here we go. After the last world war, the planet's surface can no longer support... You're great at law, but I love it. War, ...so we have a responsibility to shoulder. And so we form the Coalition of Free Nations, a transnational political entity that seeks to unite the scattered people of the surface as one. Under us? You make it sound as though that's a bad thing. See this map? The CFN already encompasses the Americas, and we have our allies in the Pacific. Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, the Philippines, and we have the British Islands and Australia fighting alongside us as well. Damn. Are the what's of fallen nations? The Children of Fallen Nations are an armed group formed by the surviving soldiers of the nations that fell in the last Great War. Most remaining nations can't afford to simply lift their cities into the skies like the rest did in the 2050s. They're not too happy about being left behind while the wealthy went on to a better standard of living. Their ultimate goal is to bring the flying cities down. Alright. Yeah, and here we have way mech combats would be very unfair against common ground targets. Yeah, it... Good. Radar's clean. No enemies remaining in the combat area. Good job. Wait, stand by. Something's approaching at high speed. Oh no. That's just never good.
There's something about effective ranges. That's it for them. Good job, men. So, boss, what's for dinner? Welcome to Mitril, Lieutenant Colonel Morgan Akeen. Mitril! Colonel Esmeralda Ingrid, the captain of the USS Takao. I will be your mission control. Mitril is a private military contractor. Its major stockholder is a weapon manufacturer, General Cybernetic Technology. We work okay. under the Pentagon and the President of the United States Command. Okay. okay. Let's get to today's task. Today, General Cybernetic Tech is going to deliver the newest prototype battle frame, the GCT-X01 to us at Neo Ichi Colony. However, we are not the only kid in the block. Right now, the Children of Fallen Nation terrorist group is attacking Neo Aichi Colony. We estimated they'll use everything they have to get the prototype battle frame before we do. I'm confident that we will be able to beat them to the prototype. Once you're there, boot the machine with emergency startup and fight your way out. Okay. The pilot now should be waiting for you in the cockpit. Please take good care of her. Oh. Oh no. The USS Takao is a small special forces assault carrier, comparable in size to the USAF's own frigate. It's not designed for head-on engagements. We can carry up to three battle frames on board. We also have two transport helicopters, which can carry each a squad of elite ground operators. So you see, it's not just you. Everyone here is the best at what they do. Uh, pirates on from Mithril, right? I am Professor Iwata, the Reed Researcher of Project Mirai. The startup sequence is nearly complete. Please wait a moment. With the assistance of technology, mankind will someday be able to more effectively share their feelings with one another. We will transcend the boundary dividing our hearts and minds. Hatred and conflict will all become obsolete. Enabling Definitely not. communication between technology and the human brain and networking the human consciousness through such technology is the mission behind Project Mirai. The mission we at General Cybernetic Technology work to achieve. If we succeed, humanity and thus society will evolve together. We will enter this new era without weapons, without distrust, without conflict. Together, we can realize this dream as the future, the rebirth of humanity. Yeah, what do you do with those who want to be, do not want to be part of it? Generator starting up. CPU is up. Data link online. Weapon systems are armed. Particle output stable. Nucleon direct brain interface established. Okay.
Psychodrone is now usable. Pirate song, please give Psychodrone a try. Smart missiles ready. The Psychodrone will attack an off target and distract enemies. If you're not Funnels working deployed. on any target, the Psychodrones will help intercept incoming missiles. Incoming enemy formation. <laughs> we have funnels? Large squadrons of MI-24 and a support corvette ship. You want the USS Takao to assist. Mid-eye can handle this. What's that stick voice? Funnels deployed! Ah, bah, bah, bah. Bonk. The Corvette ship and all of its escorts are destroyed. Good work. Takao will pick you up in a moment. Please wait there. Okay, it's a bit clunky when it's moving just like that. To be a good person, Professor. You are always welcome on our ship at any time, Professor. I wonder how good is the controller situation. That destroyer shouldn't be able to find us on radar, let alone engaging us from that sort of distance. It must be a story is a bit fast paced for remote visual targeting. So far, all the shots have missed, but their aim is getting better. If Takao uses weapons to take these battle frames out, our position will be compromised. We will break our silent run, crank out active jammer, accelerate, and shake them off. But right now, Mirai doesn't have any weapons. The Psychodrone is still attached to its wings, right? That should be enough. And Pirate Son. I mean, Mr. Morgan, we'll get accustomed to the Psychodrone better, too. To try something. I'm gonna see if it picks up the controller right away and how controller controls feel. GCTX-01 is the world's first fourth generation battle flame. Its onboard AI reads the pilot's brain waves, enhancing the control the pilot has over the frame. His brain waves must be very strong and very focused. Now few possess this strength of the mind. Mirai is the only worthy candidate I have found thus far. Okay. We cannot progress, we cannot unite as one. We cannot trust our own species. Because we build walls around our hearts and minds to protect ourselves from those who would seek to do us harm. But without trust, we breed only pride, greed, and hatred, which only creates more distrust. With this technology, we will dissolve these walls. We will create a world without. I don't understand. Um... Hmm? What is it, Mirai? Well, uh... No, it's nothing. Oh, that's our cool hero ship. Impractical as usual.
When Mirai spreads our wings, funnels deployed. Pirate sword. If you want the psycho drone to engage any target, just initiate. Don't forget that right now you don't have any weapons except psycho drone. So please avoid close range engagement. There's another squadron. This one comprises of MI-24 cannon type. Pirate sir, you should be able to walk on to the target now. Since the opponents are quite formidable, I think it's safer to keep some distance. Don't get ahead of your funnels. Like funnels run. deployed! Just release the target rock. Psycho drones will help intercept incoming missiles. New hostile squadron has arrived. It's a large Psycho squadron of funnels deployed. All of them are missing. Ah, that's how we launch flares. Funnels deployed. All hostile battle frames in combat area neutralized. Enemy ship has stopped firing ion cannon. Well done. FC. Remember the last engagement. It appeared that those ion cannon volleys are fired from this. Celis Taras, a critical asset of Children of Fallen Nation, and the flagship for Jennifer Carrera, their second in command. Okay. Today we'll sink the Celis Taras and capture Jennifer Carrera. So please listen carefully. I am going to keep this brief as possible. Celis Taras is a modified UCN's Keto class destroyer. The main weapon is the ion cannon in the bow. There's two VLS systems located on the ship's topside. But what's most dangerous about the battle frames is the anti-air missile systems located on both sides of the ship. The good news is, the system will take a while to activate. The ship has the ability to track multiple airborne targets and intercept multiple missiles at once. We expect that its missiles interception system is almost perfect. There's a high chance you'll encounter Jennifer in her personal battle frame. A heavily modified M3. If you have to engage, we advise you to stay away from her machine gun range. Or oh, that hurts. That's all you need to know. I have to say this again. This is not an easy task. If the Air Force is the one doing this, they'll have to use an entire wing. Nice. Professor Iwata is away at his lab this morning. Hey, do we have to take Mariah out into combat? I know she's skilled, but she's just a kid. It's okay, Morgan. I can do this. My father implanted my brain with a receptor chip. And I've been training in the simulator since I was very young. Doesn't make it right, young woman. I was born to pilot this brain. Your father? You mean Professor Iwata? Don't worry. I am fully capable of protecting my co-pilot. I am ready to accomplish the task at hand. She speaks as though she's more prepared for this than the soldiers over twice her age here. But she sounds so hollow, emotionless. Somehow I feel kind of sorry for this girl. Like she said, she was born into this. She never had a choice, and she knows it. Let's just hope she believes in what she's fighting for. Hmm. Until she doesn't. Once the data mm. reaches the internet, like anything else, it's there forever. Well, hear my words. Despite all the societal collapse, there are still people alive on the surface. I grew up there. Life is really hard. The contamination left most of the population sterilized. 
the kids like me are the last generation of the circus born. Born shortly after the wealthy built their flying city. How are we supposed to get past that iron cannon? The Dachau is equipped with experimental cloaking technology. We can go invisible for a few minutes. The system generates tremendous heat, so there's a cooldown period after each use. Because of the heavy blizzard and barren landscape we're headed into, this is the perfect mission to put it to the test. Isn't the target area deep inside UCN territory? The target is miles outside any populated areas. Far enough from the terrorists think it's safe to hide in a large destroyer. We should be able to get in and out without any problems. Good. Emphasis on good. Uh, this is fine. Psychodrone is now usable. Railgun is ready. All of the ship missile launchers are online. Expect heavy missile barrage. Like how heavy are we talking about? Cause so far. You know what? Let's Railgun test it. Ready. Is the ship boosting? Enemy reinforcements confirmed. Railgun is ready. Eddie. You are going for a dive. But so far, Reagan is the most effective weapon I have. Why should I use anything else? Morgan, Mirai, well done. The ship's main missile systems are destroyed. Only the iron cannon is left. It'll focus more on the iron cannon and usage, but don't worry. It's not designed Morgan to engage battle.
Yeah, okay. You can see why this is an indie game. From combat mode now. Railgun is ready. I shouldn't be having a railgun. You've done a very nice job last day. That shit's gonna unfair. Right now, she's being imprisoned in the highest security prison in CFN's Yokohama base. Our intel shows that Children of Fallen Nation has four commanders. We've captured one, so there are three left. If we're lucky, we're going to bag another one today. It appears that Children of Fallen Nation's number three. Obana Takeshi is assigned to take care of their supply base located here, Hong Kong Island. Hong Kong used to be a large economic center before it sank by the rising sea level after the war of the old world's nations. So there will be a lot of skyscrapers in the flooded city ruins. The combat area is in UCN's territory. Although it's not populated and near the border, to avoid encountering UCN's force, please complete this mission and get out of the combat area as fast as you can. See that huge crater over there? That was caused by a solar bomb. A solar very bomb? powerful type of nuclear weapon that brought about the end of the last war. A lot of nuclear weapons were used. This caused a rise in global temperature and sea level. Not so bad, right? <laughs> Most of the populated areas are coastal plains. Turns out that the sea rise in a few meters really did have an impact. You'll see what I mean when you get there. The ZX-03 Judgment is a stolen prototype battle frame. Its power is quite exceptional, and it serves as an important role for the future of the UCN weapons development. I wouldn't be surprised if the Russians were looking for it too. Always the Russians. <laughs>
Oh man, don't make me do it. That's him, Obana Takeshi, third rank. Da da Do I have to fight them? Guess not. Oh shit, I have. Take to Catbridge Command. I'll go down there. Arrived at the combat zone. Lieutenant, give me a sit -back. One battle frame active in the combat area. It's not CX0. We've never seen this one before. Be careful, Colonel. We don't have any information on this one. It does not change our mission. What is judgment? I think it must be shot down at That's fine. No, that we can have Admiral Zhukov recover it later. Just keep an eye on that white machine. The red machine is approaching at three times our speed! Listen, Juliana, I and the remaining Terminators will engage the target at close range. You adjust CIWS to full autonomy and Real support me from long range with your railgun. Got it? Affirmative. I'll handle long range fire. Who do you think you're talking to, Lieutenant? Colonel, there's an unknown battle frame approaching the combat area. That is surely a hostile, Lieutenant. No need to mark it as unknown. Thought I'd be late for this party, boys. The other machine is arrived. An M3 equipped with 840M and Gatling cannon and missile. Liana shut down? Impossible! I'm not dead yet, Colonel. You might be sorry to hear Abort mission! We're retreating now! Thank you, Colonel. And please come pick me up, Gallant. Are they getting better yet, Mariah? Not yet. The tunnel's deployed! Alexandrov. I think it's the name of that pilot we just shot down. 
Railgun is ready. Come on, I totally got him too. Ruiz here. I want those American battle frames stationed in your prison. I need your help. Steal one of their M1s and then go to the main hangar. You will get your machine back, and I will get my M3s that are kept there. This should be easy for you. Those slimy superpower nations waged war and turned the planet's surface to hell. Then they escaped to the sky, leaving many to die on the surface. It's our duty to bring justice to the world. We are the only ally of justice. Great, so now I'm working for the enemy. Fallout from the last war isn't the only reason the surface is still uninhabitable. The Ascended Nations were being pretty economic with the truth. The surface reached its worst toxicity as soon as the Third World War ended. No matter what the media tells you, those hydrogen ion engines are not a clean, sustainable method of flight. The particles released into the atmosphere below are hazardous, and they're still accumulating. Once the surface atmosphere is too saturated, the particles will begin to rise. And when that day comes, not even the skies can save them from their sins. The wealthy will never sacrifice their personal comfort for mankind's salvation. And why not? Because they're not the ones paying for the damage they're doing. Their children are. What we're aiming to do is noble. We are saving the future of mankind from itself. Having to live a harder, shorter life for a few generations is the bitter pill that humanity has to swallow. It's the price our children will have to pay for the sins of their fathers. Yeah, this is getting dark pretty quick. Wizard 3, check in. Wizard 3, I repeat, report your status. Overlords of Wizard 1, go check on Wizard 3. Wizard 1 here, affirmative. You want me to go to Wizard 3's last position? Yes, please do. You should be in Hangar 2A. Is something wrong with your radio? They said check in every 30 minutes, and they mean it. You're making it really hard for me, man. Kurosawa! Wait. Okay, what's the plan? Get out One episode six. Paper. It's an army base outside. Wait until my men's work is done.
Okay, no available tools. I mean, it's not as high speed as uh, Mirai. So I guess green is allies? Okay, the blue ones are the ones to protect. It's objective thing bling. Okay, so Carrera broke out again. Well, we were Carrera who was broken out again, so I guess our purpose was to get captured. 
Private Contractor Mithril, do you copy? This is Lieutenant Colonel Esmeralda Ingrid, USS Takao Mithril. What is it, sir? We have a civilian transport ship in low orbit experiencing problems right now. Intel said there's an Alpha-level VIP on board. The ship is approaching our weapon satellite Patriot for an unknown reason. We want you to bring them out of the Patriot's defense perimeter safely. We've lost control of both Patriot and its defense drone swarms. If oh, it that's good. To the Patriot right now, it'll activate defense procedures and launch all six of its solar bomb warheads at Earth. Say what now? Patriot's firewall also collapsed five hours ago, so right now we don't know its targeting algorithm. If the Patriot starts its launch sequence, you will need to destroy it before the warheads are unleashed. We don't have any ships within range that are capable of taking on this assignment, so you're all we have to work with. However, Pentagon has full confidence that you can do this. Dismissed. What? <sighs> this is why I don't like it. What madness is this? Do we have any updates on the Yokohama prison situation yet? Unfortunately, sir, the prisoner, along with several M1 and M3 frames that were stationed there, have fled deep into UCN territory. We're still unable to track her down. Our machines? Hacked, sir. Those frames were unmanned. The prison sustained some damage, and there were some casualties among the prisoners and staff. Aside from Jennifer Madness! Kondrat, no one else tried to escape. This is fierce. We should organize our own struggles and get rid of this terrorist already. Well, there's no way we're doing that. What do you think our military presence in UCN territory will look like? The terrorist attack has been steadily increasing the last few months. Civilian and military casualties are mounted. We cannot afford to wait on this, Mr. President. You know full well what a powder keg this UCN issue is right now. They will treat it as an act of invasion. No, they're running enough risk already with the PNC. Mr. President, please, think about this for a moment. Yokohama Prison is a high security facility. Forget about the UCN, sir. If we don't act now, who knows what the terrorist will pull next. We must strike. The last thing I want is to start another war, Chamberlain. This is the 22nd century. We need to think responsibly about this. Sir, pardon my friends, but I don't think you fully understand the gravity of the situation we're already sitting in right now. We are solving the problem, Chamberlain. But we must temper our actions here with great patience and care. The War of the Old Nations taught us that violence is a relic we need to leave in the past. We are not going to get there by force. The pilot asked to speak with you, sir. He said it was urgent. Uh, sir, I think we have a problem. <laughs> Morgan? Yes? You remember what Professor Iwata said when he was on the ship? Yeah, mostly. Though I don't quite understand what he meant. Merging people's minds through a computer network. He's really obsessed with it. But do we really need technology to do that? Do we really have to sacrifice part of our humanity in order to achieve peace? Technically, yes, but technically, no. I share the belief that if we could feel each other's pain, we should stop harming one another. But I think... Wouldn't that be much easier if we just tried listening to each other? What? <laughs> Main system engaging combat mode. We found the target. That is, target identity confirmed. It's the Air Force One. Wow. Why didn't you tell me during the briefing, Lily? I just found out too. Air Force One will enter Patriot's drone radius in 25 seconds. Protect Air Force One from the drone swarm until Takao gets there. Air Force One status is now shown on screen. It's an war class transport ship. It'll be easier to disable hostile machines today. Since we don't have to avoid firing at the cockpit anymore. Funnels deployed!
Wait, where did our target go? Where the f Where the fuck is the Patriot system hanging around? The mall, what does it? Okay, so far we are doing relatively well. Can't wait. I'm not gonna blame the game for being an indie game. Funnels deployed. Railgun is ready. Excellent news to hear that the ray gun is ready. Well, of course, good lady, I guess they can talk. Oh, there's a Takao. Yeah, why do I have the feeling I have to shoot down the Air Force One in a bit? Like, it's the reason... One of the reasons why the Patriot system is arming itself. Incoming squadron of high performance battle frames in a combat support ship. It's a USS Manhattan class LCS ship. Morgan, a track will shift the battle frames attention. The LCS ship has a railgun installed. Don't let it target the Air Force One. Railgun is ready. Ready. 
Everyone All hostile unit destroyed. The escorting mission is a success. Sir, we'll escort you to the 7th Fleet waiting at the rendezvous point. Gentlemen, I've got bad news. Patriot has started the launch sequence. Of fucking course it did. Until Patriot will fire. Patriot has a solar bomb warhead, the weapon that destroyed Earth's surface 30 years ago. That is how fighting to destroy each other will end. Fighting in the last war, weapons cannot create peace. All weapons can do is destroy. Funnels deployed! Day. Did I? Patriot is identifying targets for the third warhead. San Francisco, Los Angeles, San Diego. GRU has intercepted the message that there will be a terrorist attack here tonight. Gentlemen, what do we know? We are detecting three unidentified transports bound to dock at the city's port in five minutes. You sure this is not the space elevator, Director? We have a cooler squadron in Bangkok too. Give them a call. Well, hello there. But so far. The Bangkok 2 colony is located in the middle of the sea, hundreds of kilometers south of the now submerged city of Bangkok. This colony is the only stop between the Tomasic Orbital Elevator and the UCN mainland colony, located in the north. The city is inhabited by people local to this region, but because of its strategic importance to the UCN, it is currently under Spetsna's protection. Even after the powers in this region were defeated in the last war, they still maintained respectable economic and industrial strength. Not long after the Tomasic Orbital Elevator was built, the nations of Southeast Asia, China, and Russia merged to form the UCN. That was a pretty brief explanation of how, the how this organization came into power, and I was thinking a small couple of people who will maybe watch this on YouTube. And the next time, this was not the same host, I wish all of you good evening or day, depending on when and where you're watching this. Next time, stay safe, stay healthy, see ya, everyone. Okay.